as a boarding student in a second cycle institution or a tertiary student, one of the many hectic periods is when one has to carry luggage to and from school. According to the co-founder of Swift Nano, Nana Kweku Opokubona, during his days as a student himself, he felt the frustrations and the stress that come with going back to school after a long break as one carries luggage from one lorry terminal to the other. He then decided to come up with an innovation that seeks to resolve the issue. The whole idea of Swift Nano started um, in 2017 when I was a first year student in Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology. I was, uh, I was at Queen's Hall, an S8 floor, London's I we call it, and it was vacation on a Saturday. We vacated and as an Adventist I can't travel on a Sabbath, so I had to go to church and travel the next day. And about exiting my room, I saw a crowd on Parade Royal at Royal Parade Grounds. And then I was curious, so I descended to go and ask uh, about what is going on there. And we realized that uh, students that are traveling home, like myself, because I, I was also a first year in my first semester traveling, and they were stranded. A lot of people have paid money to organizers, um, bus, some bus providers, and other people, and those people were nowhere to be found. And it was worrying and very frustrating. Pit students couldn't, some of them were very but helpless. So basically, after that moment, I started to visit the office of the then Dean of Students, Professor William Garera, to ask this about the situation and what can be done to solve the problem. Aside from resolving the issue of students and other groups going through difficult times before traveling, a larger part of the Ghanaian populace faces this challenge of always struggling with respect to transportation. Nana Kweku Pokubona believes his innovation is a game changer to many. And Swift Sano basically is an online bus booking system that is meant or that is aimed at mitigating the problems that the average student goes to. The, the student that doesn't have their fathers with land cruisers to come and pick them, the students whose parents can't afford um, flight tickets for them, the average student that join long queues at the VIP stations, the STC stations, and all these other stations, these are the students these apps are made for. It's also made for parents because, in as much as we've made it for the students, parents are also people who are concerned about the travel of their, their, their children or their wards. So now parents can be rest assured that the money they are giving to their wards to buy tickets will not go into the wrong hands and they are starting to be stranded because we have situations where people took money from students and they were nowhere to be found. Uh, people took money from students and the bus were taking forever to arrive on campus to pick them up. This is not just for Kenya University, this is for all struggling students out there, for UG students, UCC students, Legon students, every student out there, GIJ students, <laughs> every student out there that is finding it difficult to travel from their home to their various universities. If you're in Accra and you're still in, you're still in Kenya University, now there's a birth of a new era that is going to solve your problem of not being able to get back on time to arrive and enjoy the benefits of school or the programs that is lined up in the early stage. The, this system is meant to solve the problem of excess charges at the various bus terminals. This is to solve the overcrowded situations at the various bus terminals when it's time for departure or time for reopening and vacation because this time around you know when you are departing you know that you have a, a bus and a seat on the bus so you don't stress yourself going at the terminal at a time that is not proud to your departure he is fast calling on the government and investors to support in making the innovation more accessible to many people so we'll be very glad if the, any government organization, any um, transport provider can jump on board and partner with us. And in as much as we want to take the system out there, we are also open for investors or grants, anything the government or any individual can do to help us bring it out to the students and make it uh, as intended. We'll be very glad.